What's going on, motherfuckers? It's your boy Dumar Redenbacher here once again. It's been a while, but today I'm going to show you guys my big break upgrade for Athena. Uh, my 95 Cadillac Fleetwood Turbo LS project. Uh, it's been up and, well, mostly up, actually. But it's been up and down over the last few years, but this time we're going to uh, go full retard. So let's check it out. All right, so this is what we're doing. That's a stock B-body rotor. This is a uh, SRT8 Jeep B-body rotor. And that is a uh, 17Z caliper. It's for the Porsche, Audi, uh, Volkswagen, just the VAG group. All of those uh, RS4, a bunch of cars come with those. Uh, yeah, and this is a stock B-body caliper. As you see, the piston is actually fucking huge. But not huge enough. So what we're going to do is get all that stuff oh i turned the heat off whatever uh get all that stuff on that side like i did here this would be our finished project it drags a little bit ah yeah it's tight right now but uh that'll be fine i think that's just the coating on the pad and the fact that this rotor is super rusty but after i get this next one on if that one does the same thing, I'm going to recommend you turn these rotors down maybe like a mil, maybe half mil per side, and just uh, get them a little bit thinner. So you spin it a little freer. I'm not as concerned about that because I just drive this bitch hard as shit until that clearance is itself out because I love things that self-clearance. So, yeah. Oh, and I just got a text message saying the parts I'm waiting for to finish this job are at Mazda Auto, Auto Parts. So I'm going to go there halfway through doing this once I get to the point where I actually need those parts. So I'm going to give you guys a parts list here. And uh, after that, we will dig in. All right. So when you take your uh, stock spindle and all that stuff off, this is what your, uh, not spindle, your stock uh, rotor. This is what you're left with. I already took one of these out. These are going to be the bolt holes for the new caliper bracket. And we're going to have to do some trimming here to make sure the new caliper fits. So that's what we're going to do first. I'm going to take this off here. And then I am going to trim these here. So let's check that out. All right. So the plan is to get this steering knuckle to look like this steering knuckle so watch to go at it with the sawzall and cut this I know this is my hole here so if I cut this to the, as close as I can to there I know I'm good and then down here I can just cut this straight down and I'll be good to go but first I gotta take the shield off so I'm gonna take the shield off and I'm gonna get to cutting and I have the wrong blade so I'm probably gonna go through a few of them but shit happens so there we go all right so like i said i got the wrong blade but surprisingly this is working really well so this is just i cut straight down and on the back side already so now i'm cutting down on the top i'm going to come down and then i'm going to do another cut over so you can see how easy the stuff is once you got a decent blade it's really not hard to go through this Now I'm going to come over this way. Voila. So after this, if you want to clean this up a little bit more, I'm about to. If you want to clean this up to make it look a little bit nicer, you can. It's uh, all up to preference. Like I said, your brakes are going to be covering this anyway. So uh, here's my bracket that I had made. And I'll go over this in a minute, how I had all this stuff made up. But this is going to go here. There's a spacer, so don't even worry about uh, that little knock there. Because there's a half inch spacer that pushes this out. And this bracket is going to sit about here. So, with that being done, you can take your caliper. This goes on the outside. I can't remember. I think it goes on the outside. Yeah. And this will let you know if you have enough clearance for everything. So, just eyeball it as you go. 
And that way you know if it fits, it fits. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You got to keep clearing shit off. So I'm about to clean this up a little bit better, make it a little bit nicer. And then I'll uh, catch up with you guys on the next step. All right. So next is everybody's favorite part, drilling and tapping. So I got the uh, tap kit for half-inch bolts. So I'm going to drill this hole and this hole out. That one doesn't matter. We're not using that no more. So I'm going to drill these two out, and then I'm going to tap them. That is a boring, annoying uh, process that's going to probably have me cussing. So I'm going to just catch y'all motherfuckers when I'm done with it. So give me a second. I'm going to drill and tap these. If you don't know how to drill and tap, not trying to sound like a dick, you probably shouldn't be modifying a custom brake system. So there's that. So I'll catch you guys in a second. All right, got the holes drilled. Now this top hole, you're not gonna find the bottom of. So please, 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 as you see, it's not gonna come out the back. So please don't break your tap off in there because you are going to get mad, really fucking mad. More mad than mad, like, yeah. So just make sure you are very mindful of how deep you are in here. Just pretend like it's your girlfriend. Just don't go too far in there or you might fuck stuff up. And nobody likes doing that. So this hole down here, however, comes out the back. Let me see if I can get get that. No. Probably fucking not. But oh duh, King. It comes out. You can see all the way through. So this one you can just tap all the way through. But this one here, not so much. And uh always use lube. I use a PB blaster for any kind of anything that's like wet besides like spitting water. Any oil based lubricant or something like that will work good. Uh, white lithium, I like using that too for cutting or just regular old uh, trans fluid or just oil. But just some sort of fluid that's going to uh, help this thing cut a little bit better and smoother without dry, uh, dry, going in there dry. Nobody likes going in there dry. So. Yeah, I'm about to tap these and then I will be able to bolt the knuckles on and we can go on to the next step. Alright, so now I got both of those holes drilled. Sorry about the lights, kind of in the worst spot ever. But uh, yeah, I got those holes drilled and tapped. Nice, clean, happy threads. Nice, clean, happy threads. So now I'm going to put the bracket on. And, uh, yeah, these are for that. That's to space it off of here some. You got these flat bosses right around the hole. And this fits in there. So we're just going to put these on there. So that puts the, uh, and make sure that the caliper sits in the middle of the rotor. Because this is your, your rotor is going to sit where it's going to sit. You can't space your rotor in and out. So you have to space the caliper bracket I mean, the well, yeah, the caliper bracket to where, like I did on that side, to where all this is um, lined up right. So I'm going to throw the bracket on real quick, and I'm going to clean this up. I don't have my uh, studs yet. I have to go pick them up. So I'm probably going to do that halfway through this video. So as you see, the, the hub is um, it doesn't have any studs in it. So I'll uh, go over that in a second, right before I leave. But right now, let's get the uh, bracket bolted on. All right, so excuse the newfound darkness. Uh, my whole block just fucking lost power. So that's cool. But luckily, phones work with sunlight. So I'm going to still do the best I can to show you guys what's up. I'm going to get as far as I can. Hopefully the power comes back soon. Um, so yeah, here I need to get washers in there because you can't, or I can cut the bolt down. But I'm going to just put washers in there because it's easier. Uh, since this bolt is kind of long and it's gonna it's bottoming out in the taper of this uh, mounting boss I'm just gonna put two washers in there or a washer in there depending on whatever it needs and this one since the hole is all the way through I was able to uh, go all the way through there and bottom this one out so that one's good so after we get that since uh, you can use Loctite, but all I did was I welded these to the bracket because realistically, this bracket should never come off again. I mean, what's, what would be the purpose of taking this bracket off? Now, these, obviously, you don't want to weld because that's where your caliper is on. You're going to be taking your caliper on and off uh, to take your rotor off later on down the road. 
when your rotor goes gets too thin but for these i'm gonna weld them to the bracket so that way they can't spin out it's just less uh less prone for failure that way with brakes i try to take every added precaution that i can so this is the bracket on the car when i go get my lug studs i'm going to uh get the washers that i need to for that so that's no worry that's neither here nor there so let's show you uh what the hub starts as all right so originally this was a b-body rotor it was the actual this is the one from the fleetwood that it came with and uh these normally would have your lug bolts coming out of them and i mean your wheel studs coming out of them so what i did in order to make a hub instead of paying all that money for one of the nice fancy billet ones all i did was cut this off the rotor face and then i had my buddy at a machine shop turned this down i gave him this and the big big ass rotor there and had him turn it down so now this fits inside of the outer diameter of that rotor and this is a srt8 jeep rotor with the six point well no this is uh from a track hawk this is the track hawk brakes i i think the regular srt8 has to lock the 15 inch brakes as an option but i'm not sure but you can pick these up on rock auto for like 35 bucks plus shipping so i have 70 dollars into my rotors my rotors cost more than the damn uh six piston calipers which were 15 bucks at the junkyard because pick and pull that's caliper prices so yeah but back to this so if you don't have the machine shop just give them your pieces see and he was able to turn that down to be a nice nice fit i think he had to turn this down a couple fractions of a mil and as you see luckily srta brake i mean srta jeeps are five by five just like b bodies so that makes life a ton easier you don't got to read your rotors anymore after this you could just keep your uh your old wheels as long as they actually clear the brakes in their 20s in my case my 20s do so you might be able to fit a 19 but i'm gonna say 20s are your best bet here does that weld oh no it's just some grease ill yeah i touched it but uh yeah so i'm gonna go get the studs for that hopefully i got power when i come back because my next step is throwing the the hub and bearings on here i got new bearings and all that uh i'm gonna throw the hub on there and then the rotor and then the caliper and all that stuff and oh i'm actually going to have to clearance the caliper which is going to be hard without power because i need my air compressor and i'm i'm pretty sure i'm gonna run out of air before I uh, dremel all the way through here. But let me show you what you got to dremel to clear the rotor. See how I had to make that path there? Because the rotor is actually too big for the caliper. But in order for me to get a good fit, I had to go huge on the rotor, which I'm fine with because that's just a flex. So I'm going to uh, go get my studs and my washers and stuff, go get my hardware. Hopefully I got power when we come back we can keep this video rocking. All right, so went to the parts store, got the stuff that I needed. So my next step now, I got the hub on here, as you can see. Uh, I don't have, I got my lug, uh, my wheel studs too while I was out, but I didn't throw those in yet. I will in a moment. Um, but as of right now, I got my bearings on. They're not grease anything. It's going to be coming on and off. But I got the hub on. This is the old uh, B-Body stock. This is the stock Fleetwood rotor that's cut down I showed you guys a little earlier there so now uh, get this big 15 inch behemoth. I can sit that on there it's not perfectly straight because there's no studs in it usually I would uh, have the studs in and I can run a couple of uh, nuts through but for right now I'm not too worried about it because I already did my lining up over there so I got all the, the fab that I need out the way so I already know what will and won't uh, line up and give me clearance issues so, just hold that on there. Let me see where's the fucking caliper. Now this caliper isn't going to go on here. 
all the way because like I said, this rotor is too big for this caliper. So I'm going to need to dremel this out on both ends. I think most of this end. I don't think I had to do anything on this side. I double check on that one, but I'm pretty sure you just have to do the top because the back kind of sits far out. So, uh, yep, I believe I'm off on this hole, but that, that might be hitting the knuckle. I might need to trim some more off the knuckle too. So you want to come over here so you can see back here. You can see where this is interfering. So I might need to trim that down, but I won't know until I cut this down first on the on the uh, caliper. Because I know this has to be clearanced out. So after I clearance this and see, make sure it's not hidden inside the rotor, the rotor isn't hidden inside the caliper, then from there I'll uh, start trimming stuff on the knuckle again. But like I said, this is kind of a trial and error process because I don't want to cut more than I have to. So I cut a little at a time, but you can't really add more of that. So just cut a little bit as you go, and uh, as I dig in and make cuts and all that, I'll get you to the next step. I might need to postpone the video uh, because I got to dremel this out here. And as you see, the power's still not back. I don't know what the fuck DTE is doing right now, but the whole like neighborhood is out. This whole side of town is out right now. So yeah, that being said, I'm going uh, to stop it right here, uh, and I will catch you hopefully when... The um, power comes back. It's like I was going to weld, but I can't weld because obviously there's no power and that's a step I got to do soon. So I'm pretty much stuck. So uh, I'm going to pull these uh, wheel studs through and then I'm going to call it a day. Or I might come back later on if, it, uh, if the power comes back. But we'll see. All right. So the power came back on and I dug back. I was digging back into it. So I'm going to catch you guys up real quick to speed. As of right now. I had to cut down the bolts and I actually cut this one down too far so I gotta go run to the store and get new bolts but they, that's not really killing me back there I trimmed where I needed to to get that fitted in there better now it fits might file this down with the uh, grinding wheel to keep to get that a little bit cleaner through here but uh, for right now I'm not too worried about it so now I'm welding these nuts to this now, these are going to be impacted all the way in. This is just because it's a once the rotor is on, it is a bitch to hold that. So, I'm just got that uh, got that. I'm welding the nuts to the brackets. Then these here, I'm going to weld this all together, so that way they can't turn and back out of here. Cause uh, I don't really trust just regular lock washers, especially for brakes and Loctite. I mean that's. As much as I'm going in and out and there's not that much thread, I'd rather have it so this can't turn. Because it's only got maybe a, I don't know, three-eighths of an inch of bite, which is plenty, especially for a half-inch bolt. But, I mean, with brakes, you can't be too safe. So, I'm welding this to that and then this to that. So, that can't spin out because, realistically, you don't ever need to take this bracket off again after you get this here. Because this knuckle is trash if you're not using big brakes. So, now I'm about to... uh finish the welding on here I just got this turned so it's the opposite way and then uh, this is to space everything out so I know everything will be clear because the the hole there is just maybe a, a 16th bigger than half inch so the bolt can not move around in there so this way I know that my rotor is in the my caliper is in the right spot and then after this I could take it on and off and I can uh, fit the rotor back on and see if it clears now what I didn't realize on that side because I uh, didn't have my half inch bolt yet excuse me uh i grinded this out i don't even think i need to do that i might need to shave a little bit in here but i came all the way out to this outer body apparently you don't have to do that because i just test fitted it with the half inch bolts and that took all the extra play out of it and this had plenty of fucking room to clearance out and spin so i'm just going to uh finish welding this and then throw the rotor on i got my hub off somewhere yeah, there it is. So I can throw the lugs through there, and this should be done here shortly. So I'm about to finish welding this, and then I'm going to uh, throw the lugs through. And then we will see where our clearance is at, and if I got to grind this out. Power's back on, so I can uh, turn my air compressor on if need be, and 
grind this out just a little bit but i might be able to do it with a file honestly like it's that is that tight i might just take the uh take my file and just file it down because i might only need to take a mill or two off if that so yeah this is where we're at easy peasy all right so i put my hub on it's my hub back there i put my hub on and i uh got the rotor on over that and then just to keep everything nice and tight knowing where the uh, rotor will be i put the spacer on so i'm gonna have to run that anyway it's an adapter so because those are a uh, small bolt pattern wheel my original intentions were to change this over this hub over using f body hubs changes over to a uh, five by 120 but since i was going with these big ass brakes instead of the corvette brakes that i got right there which are five by 120 since i'm going with these 15 inch rotors on the jeep it's already five by five which is the stock pattern so i'm just going to use the uh spacers it's no big deal i'm not too worried about that uh i ran these spacers for the last three years anyway so it'll be fucking fire so as you see i got that welded back there i don't know if it'll focus yeah there we go i welded the nut there as well with the one down there and these are bolted there and there and this all fits now so apparently i don't even got a clearance that when i was doing it the first time i didn't have uh didn't have the right bolts to hold this to the bracket i was using three eighths bolts at a half inch i hadn't drilled it out yet so when i was in those beginning steps i uh assumed that this was going to give me contact issues it is not it is very close but almost only counts with horseshoes and hand grenades and as you see that's fucking fine so i'm about to throw the pads in and then uh, I'm going to show you guys these pins. You're going to have to beat these out. Uh, I had to beat the shot of them. If you're lucky, they got like little pins here. And you could drill the pins out. And then that'll take those out. But you probably won't be lucky. And you're probably going to have to beat the shit out of these and cuss the whole time. So have fun with that. Because I didn't. It took me like three days because I was getting too frustrated. So I'm going to throw these pads in real quick. And then after that, I think we are done over here. Oh, I got to put the line on. And I got to get the longer bolts, but both of those things are just trivial as far as the actual fab process of this whole thing. So I'm going to uh, throw the pads in real quick, beat those uh, pins back through, and there we go. Also, a benefit of this, you don't got to take this off to change pads anymore. The pads go right in from the top. So that's pretty fucking awesome. All right, so now I'm about to beat these pins in. And uh, I already got this side in. These stop the calipers from floating around too much. So, as long as you're not touching the rotor, you're Gucci. So, I gotta beat them, beat them through. What the fuck was that? Oh, top bolt, whatever. That's that short ass bolt that I cut too small. Uno más. Voila. Alright, I think yeah, everything's tight enough that that falling out didn't really affect me. So now pins, the pads go in from up top. So like I was saying, these go in really fucking tight. Probably should have got this rotor turned down, but I didn't. So uh, I'm just going to tap these in with a little small small hammer. And once they're in there, it's a little bit better. But once they're up here by the uh, body, it is super tight. So give me one second. All right, so as you see, the wheel is on. It spins. It's a little tight, but that's only because uh, I got the wrong spacer on here it needs to come out more and since the wheel's sitting so far in it's sitting there hidden so i don't want to scratch off all the paint so i'm not going to move it around but 
The wear indicators are those little bumps there on the pads. You can see I did get the pads in there. I forgot to show you guys when I was putting them in, after I put them in, but you can see the tops of the pads there and there. As you see, yes, yeah, interfering just a bit, but once that comes out, that's tapered. So as the wheel comes out more, it'll uh, give me all the room that I need. So that's where we're at with that. I mean, that basically sums it up. Uh, I still got to do the lines, but the lines that I use, they go in basically like stock because this is for Audi RS4, which uses a similar caliper to that. And it, it also uses M10 uh, size over here. And that goes right into that. So only thing you got to do is fab you up some way to hold it into place. But other than that, I am about to put this car on the fucking ground. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Learned a lot. I'm going to let you know what all parts and stuff were needed. Uh, and what everything came off of here shortly. Well, at the end of the video. And, uh, yeah. So, we got them big brakes on. I don't know if you can even see these. Yeah, you can see the backs of them. Hell yeah, brother. But yeah, so like, comment, share, subscribe. Hope you learned something. And Dumar Redenbacher out.